Did you guys know that there are actually carnivorous bromeliads? And first, did you guys know that there's bromeliads? So bromeliads are um, plants from South America that grow up in the trees and they have a tankard in the center where they hold water. Most of them aren't carnivorous, although sometimes insects might drown in there. We don't count that as carnivorous, um, but there are um, three species of bromeliad that have evolved to be proper carnivorous, and I'm holding one in my hand. This is a small sail plant, Brocinia reducta. That's how you say that. Um, these tubes that it forms, uh, do fill with water and then they do put enzymes in there to properly digest and that's the difference between these and some of the others. You can see the big ones behind me. They'll get like two, almost three feet tall eventually. Always very, very narrow to create these pitcher like tubes. Really, really cool. They're native to uh, South America. So they are a tropical plant. I would grow them exactly like a highland nepenthes. And that means we have them in a sphagnum soil, just like any nepenthes that we grow here. Um, at the same temperature uh, requirements. Probably won't want these to get much warmer than maybe 90 degrees because you know they are uh, tapui associated so they probably don't love the heat although they're more tolerant of that than they are the cold i wouldn't ever let them freeze keep them above uh, 40 degrees um, other than that they're pretty easy nice sunny spot in the house or greenhouse um, and then something else different is you do want to make sure that you fill up the centers with water we don't usually keep them sitting in buckets of water, although they're pretty resistant to rot. We just keep them wet. Yeah, frequent watering is like a Nepenthes, but again, filling up this uh, center thing, this tankard with water so that it can catch prey. And if you have our Osmocote pellets, the slow release fertilizer pellets, this is one where one in the center there really makes them grow quickly into these big plants like these.